Hi, my name is Jamari Albui. I'm an attorney here at the Nieves Law Firm, and today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between sexual battery, rape, and lewd conduct. So many of these words have the same underlying meaning, so sometimes they can be confused because they're all kind of dealing with this umbrella of sexual assault. But under the law, they do have very specific definitions and they are used in different contexts. It's important to recognize that so you understand the type of charges that you're facing or the type of charges that are being brought against you. So first, we're going to start with sexual battery. Sexual battery is defined as the unlawful touching of another person against their will with the intent of sexual arousal, arousal gratification, um, and annoyance or to cause offense typically um, that can be anything it, that's more so the term that we define as sexual assault is what sexual battery is so for instance if you're at a bar and someone grabs your butt that's technically sexual battery um, so that type of definition falls definitely under the umbrella of what we typically um, view as sexual assault but that is the definition of sexual battery and it's typically charged um, it's a wobbler it could be charged as a misdemeanor or a felony um, and the next word that we have is lewd conduct now lewd conduct is specifically used in um, a specific context so like lewd conduct in public or um there's um you know there's lewd conduct in regards to um when you're there's issues with children or sexual assault with children there's a lewd element to that um so lewd conduct specifically is almost the same as sexual battery the difference is is it's in public so if you're looking at the specific charge of lewd conduct the definition is essentially the same it's the unlawful touching of another person against their will or maybe it is or the difference is that someone could actually consent to being touched um but it's for the purpose of sexual arousal gratification or annoyance the biggest thing when it comes to lewd conduct is that this is particularly offensive it's outside the bounds of moral decency um and so that the additional element to lewd conduct that def that substantially differentiates it from sexual battery is that you are in public and you know that someone would be offended by that touching so for instance if i'm in public and i flash everyone that's definitely lewd conduct because i'm purposely trying to show my body parts to people um and it's incredibly offensive. The other thing that is um, important to recognize is that also requesting or soliciting someone for um, to touch them or for sexual acts is also considered lewd conduct, especially if it's done or if it's done in public. So that's that component with lewd conduct. It's basically who's there, that kind of like audience, because it's it's based in offensiveness. Um, and then lastly, rape is probably the easiest definition because rape is considered sexual intercourse. That means it requires penetration. And the reason why I differ specifically from sexual battery is because the statute, penal code, specifically states that sexual battery is not defined or does not... Um, go into the definition of rape therefore rape and sexual battery are actually mutually exclusive from one another rape is specifically defined as sexual intercourse and requires penetration um and it's different from battery which doesn't necessarily require penetration sexual battery only requires touching it can be skin to skin it could also be over the um clothes as well as lewd conduct and lewd conduct differentiates from sexual battery and the fact that it needs to be offensive and in public and you need to know that people were there and would find it offensive um if you find yourself the uh, if you find yourself having issues, if you're being charged with any of these crimes, specifically under the umbrella of sexual assault, please contact the Nieves Law Firm and see how we can help you.